Hello, uh, today I have uh, two things to show. The first one is this module consisting of a RTL A710. And also you can see uh, the screen is bigger than previous one. It has a 1.3 inch. Uh, the driver is SH1106. It's not SSD1306, but uh, it works as well. And uh, actually the original RTL A710 does not have a AD converter. So I added the three channel AD converter put on the board connected through I squared C interface. And uh, also I added lithium polymer charging circuit. Just connect the USB cables. The red LED turns on meaning that now is charging the lithium polymers. After charging uh, it turns to green. Now let's see how it works. I'll turn on the switch. Now initializing the OLED. Yeah, now it's connected to the access point and showing the current currency between Japanese yen and Canadian dollars. In addition, you can see the lithium polymer battery air voltage equals to 4.02 volt. And actually, this system running at a 3.3 volt. So through the voltage divider divided by two, uh, the onboard AD converter can measure the voltage, input voltage, up to 6.6 volt. Of course, the lithium polymer battery does not go uh, up such a high voltage, but it can measure up to 6.6 volt. And this is the first one. And the next one is this one. Indeed, the the shape is very similar. It has a USB terminals and a relatively large 1.3 OLED display, but this is not the same one because it's based on the ESP32. Very recent, uh, very powerful Wi-Fi modules. And also on this board, I added FTDI, a binary upload uh, circuit in addition to the lithium polymer charging uh, circuits. Now, uh, currently, the binary of the Adafruit library test program is uploaded. Now, I'd like to show the live upload of the binary to the another one. Okay. Now, compiling, now uploading. Now the stop. Yeah, ESP32 locks. This binary is uploaded through the USB interface, as you can see. Have fun.